Today I'm going to try a little mind reading stunt. I'm going to try and reach through the camera to grab a hold of your thoughts. You can play along at home. I want you to think of any word that I'm limited, monolingual over here. Any word in the English language. How about that? <laughs> any word in the English language. Think of that word. I'm going to try and zero in on your thoughts here. Right. The word that... Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the word you're going to say. Okay. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. What are you going to say? Are you thinking of the word cucumber? You said no? You said no! I got it! The word you were going to say. It works every time. What do you expect? <laughs> Can't read your mind, you're not even in the room. Okay, no, we'll forget that, forget that. Enough of this joking around, we'll try this. Try this again. I want you to think again. Uh, any word, any word. Could even be the same word. If we want to really try this again. Okay. Okay. Good. I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. Whatever word you're thinking of, I got it. Trust me, this is it. What word are you thinking? I, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Maybe you are thinking cucumber. Maybe you did switch to cucumber, but it doesn't matter because I got it right here. This is it. That's it. There you go. So, this gag, this it gag, I've never actually seen this before, but this is a gag that goes back to the 60s. It was published by Alan Lambie, a magician from uh, BC in Canada, uh, published about 1962, I think. And he called it the comedy mental trick or something, something really generic. So, much like the very familiar no gag, it's a comedy mind reading gag, but here's the thing. I got pretty serious about the no gag when I put out Baby Bow, and I really kind of went deep into it and figured out how it works and how to do it. And it's not as easy as you might think. I've seen it mess up a lot of times. I've messed it up a, a number of times because it requires a very particular phrasing and wording in order to get a no response out of someone. Because if you set up the no gag and you say, do you believe I have the word you're thinking? And people will often play along. They'll say, yeah, or maybe. And if they say anything other than a clear, distinct no, the gag loses all of its power and energy. You don't get much of a laugh. You need the person to say a very distinct no. So I learned a couple ways to set it up properly. And I'll, I'll run through. There's three things I say that I think set up the no gag. One, I want you to think of any word in the English language, and that's what I say to the person. I want you to think of any word in the English language. As I'm writing my prediction, I say almost as an aside to somebody else in the audience, I go, I'm pretty sure this is the word he's going to say. So that's the distinction. I tell the person to think of a word, and to that person I say, I'm pretty sure this is the word he's going to say say being the key phrase. And finally, I don't ask an ambiguous question about do you think uh, I have the word here? Because that is open to uh, a lot of answers depending on how they want to play along. I ask a very specific question that is either a miracle or flat wrong. Are you thinking of the word cucumber? And there's no way for them to fudge the answer on that. They can't say maybe. <laughs> it's not something that would come to mind. So they give a very distinctive no, and it sets you up for a very good uh, solid punchline with the no gag. So that's my tips on the no gag. But I recently found this it gag, and the reason I like it is because it is uh, it's simpler. It's easier to set up. Because if, no, if you mess up that no gag or you don't get a clear answer on the no gag, it kind of loses momentum. But really, this is way more flexible in that sense. 
anything could be happening and it doesn't matter what goes on you got it this is it it is right here I'm holding it it's it's very very uh, like any anything could lead to this path so as I said I've seen the no gag as long as I've been a magician 25 or more years People have been doing the no gag, but I've never once in my life seen anyone do it. That's my tip for today. Try something new, variation, and I hope you enjoy Alan Lambie's it. <laughs>